Where can this be? Hello everybody and welcome back to my Life is Strange 2 Episode 1 Let's Play. Let's continue, shall hmm. we? We have to be somewhere southwest of Mount Rainier. Southwest, so... yeah? Alright. This is it. Are you sure? <sighs> yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so... Can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Ah, uh, But it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh, sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. We did pay. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Oh, I will. We did pay for all this, you prick. We did pay, so fuck you. Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it, it's okay. Look, our, our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, Don't touch my brother! a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh, shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. Then they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, come on, lady. No. You know we paid hey for there. that stuff. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. Mm. Oh, Watch you it, fucking punk. I almost said the C word. I almost have to see what I jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him. You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out in the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. He's lucky he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Build the wall. Are you fucking serious right now? Come on. It's only plastic. Fuck the wall. Don't need no wall. Fuck. This shit. Alright. How am I gonna get out of this mess? 
I'm an innocent. I didn't shoplift. I was trying to avoid a situation like this. God damn it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. How am... Oh my days, this is the worst. How am I going to get out of this? Can't I just push myself off? wonder if I could get more light from it. Daniel? I'm right here. Are, are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the wood. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Emmanuel. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, be dude. Because he's a racist. There's gotta be a way out of here. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. He's a racist prick. That's why. Ouch! It hurts. Sorry, Sean. I don't know. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. think of this asshole being the oh yeah this racist shithead is a real pillar of the community all right there's a window over there maybe you can find a way in or something It is, but be careful, it might attract him. are all the way over there. Sean, I'm really scared. Right. Okay, Daniel, I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? Find me something sturdy, like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. But where can I find one? Enano, I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. Just 
just take your time. I'm alright shooting here. Oh, hi. I found something. Good. Is this what you wanted? This is it. You rule, Daniel. This is perfect, Daniel. Thank you. Come on. Let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. Come on, you mother... Yes! Score! Did you do it? Here, here. Come on. Happen. The race okay. kicks me in the face. We need to cut this off fast. How about these? Dude, you're Brock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. Oh, come on. What happened? Uh, what? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. You know what? We were accused of stealing even though we didn't steal, so fuck it. Let's steal some camping gear. Those racist fucks. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. Fuck it. I told you to leave us alone. Sean, what are you doing? Daniel, come on. He kicked me in you the gotta face. Get out of here. Had me tied up when I did nothing wrong. Come on. Come on. <laughs> So, Wait. so yeah, I just went on there, but fuck it. Where are you going? Just saying, just saying like that, it's gonna happen. Over there, uh, let's go. I don't know. When you've done nothing wrong, because of some stupid racist shit, then you're know fuck oh, it. Oh, oh. Taking that camping gear. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? I don't look okay. That asshole. At the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, they ain't no more. I believe you, okay? She's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Why did he freak out on us? Good question, my friend. 
There are a lot of messed up people out there. And you're throwing a little racism. Yeah. I don't think he was down with our last name. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come oh on, my I'm God. not stupid. You did it. <sighs> Daniel. Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. But, no soul. I took off after school, and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. So you're, like, all political. Everything is political, Sean. Sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Well, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. Yeah. And you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious.
guess. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Listen, I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call, no pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> fucking cops. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere and you're taking the brunt of it right now but you're gonna be okay sean how my life feels like like that town down there wiped out destroyed empty. are they near arcadia bay right now like i have nothing What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next time I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. Should I go back? Uh, to Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the US. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road.
listen. I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me, then Sean. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? We're so lucky Brody helped us. If it wasn't for him, we... Play fetch, why not? Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it! Go, Mushroom. Mushroom? Where is she? Mushroom? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, yeah, here. Sure. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. And what if you do? Do not throw it in the road. Come on, Mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room, no big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen. I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but... Not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. 
So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Brody's cool. I like Brody. Okay. Ah. Time to hit the sack. But not until later, apparently. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay. Good. That's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.